Okay, so let's go back to our microwave power splitter where we want to divide the power into two parts. Here's my input and my Z01 characteristic impedance is going to be 50 ohms. If I want to divide the power evenly and have no reflection coefficient right here, what I want is 100 ohms in parallel with 100 ohms, which gives me an effective 50 ohms right here, and half the power is going to come out on this side and half is going to come out on that. Unfortunately, if I want to match that to a 50 ohm line for another device, which generally I do, I need to be able to put a quarter wave transformer in between them. So right here is my quarter wave transformer. The quarter wave transformer, if you remember, has a characteristic impedance of Z01 and Z02. Z01 is 50 ohms, Z02 is 100, so the characteristic impedance of my quarter wave transformer ends up being about 70.7 ohms, and it's going to be a quarter of a wavelength long. But, how long does this 100 ohm line need to be? Can I make it shorter? There is no particular definition of the length that I need for that 100 ohm line, so what I'm going to do is shrink it, and shrink it a little more, and shrink it a little more, and more, and more, and more, until it is visibly gone. My 100 ohm line, right here, is effectively there, but it's not visibly there, and I don't actually build it. So I end up using my initial characteristic impedance, and then the characteristic impedance that I want to go on to in the end, and the impedance of my quarter wave transformer, and my 100 ohm impedance is just right here on this end, and it is virtual. So it's not really there, but it is effectively or mathematically. So here's my input, that is my Z01 of 50 ohms, right here. I have a virtual 100 ohm line right here, but I've never built it. I have my 50 ohm outputs right here, and I have my quarter wave transformer on this side, and my quarter wave transformer on the other side, that both have a characteristic impedance of 70.7 ohms. So this is how a quarter wave transformer is used with a typ typical microwave T-junction splitter.